Hey Aries, this is your girl Chaos from Chaos of the Divine Feminine. And um, welcome to my channel. So this is my very first video. I started out on TikTok and Spirit kind of kicked my ass and said it's time for you to switch platforms. So here I am. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. This is going to be a general reading, a timeless general reading. So whenever this, whenever you come across this video, that's when it was meant for you to see it. And um, comment and let me know what's going on, whatever resonates with you. This may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, um, hopefully I'll get you next time. I'll connect with your energy next time. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, I thank you for uh, coming through for me today. Oh, let's get this uh, past energy, current energy, and near future energy. Wait, that's too many cards. Good Lord, Aries, what y'all got going on? Near future energy. I can already tell this is gonna be a love. Story or a not so love story. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, in the recent past, you had some sort of third party situation going on. Some heartache. The current energy is the devil. That could be anything. We're gonna we're gonna clarify that. And your near future energy is the eight of swords in your head, stressed, hurt, anxiety about whatever this situation is. Okay. Spirit, can you please clarify care clarify? <coughs> Let me think. <coughs> Do I want to clarify? Let's clarify this three of uh, swords first. Spirit for Taurus, please clarify. Clarify this. Um, okay. Let's clarify the devil. What the hell? <laughs> We're clarifying the devil with the Ten of Cups. Okay. So this devil might not be a bad thing. This devil might be these two lovers in bondage. Let me see, hold on. Oh, okay, there was a page of cups out, thrown out there. I don't know where that came from. Hold on, let me just look at my notes real quick, because, oh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, there was, um, I'm going to say there was a tarot moment. The tarot card isn't out yet. I'm sure it's going to come out. So, this three of swords was clarified by the um, five of swords and the seven of wands. I mean, seven of pentacles. 
So there was a confrontation. There was a... Let me sit here and think about what all I invested in this relationship. Because at this point, I'm tired of playing. I'm tired of loyalty being only one-sided is what I'm picking up from this. There was, there was a confrontation. So I'm feeling like this Ten of Cups was, was the hopes. This is the current energy for this. You still are hoping that this relationship, this codependent, this, I'm not going to say codependent, this, this couple in bondage, you're bond, I say bondage because it's a third party situation. One person is living this love in bondage, unhappy, heartbroken, a slave to this relationship. This is what you want, but this is what you currently have. Okay. Clarify the devil for me some more, please. Spirit. Clarify the devil. Current energy with this devil card, please. Yeah, you want, that's the Ten of Pentacles. You want Ten of Wands. Okay. Let's get a clarification on this future, this Eight of Swords. Spirit, please. Page of Wands. In the world card. Okay. You're going to have to come to some realizations so that this can, you can complete this cycle. This page of wands. You're going to have to re-examine what you had before. You see how it looks like he's getting a really good look at this wand that he has in his hand. This one, this is your your staff. This is like your, your, this is how you manifest. This is what you're manifesting in your life. This is your tool. Sometimes what you have before you isn't, is it, you, sometimes you don't have the right tool before you to get what, you, what you're trying to manifest. This tool is this relationship. You're not getting that you don't have the right tool for what you're trying to build. That's whether that tool be that man or that woman, you don't have the right tool to build what it is that you're trying to build. Nostalgic, so this must be an X. That's the song playing right now. Oh, that's not even the name of the song. But Nostalgic is across my TV in big, bold letters. Yep. You see this at the bottom of the deck? Five of Pentacles. This usually represents poverty. But when I pull this in a love reading, which that's what we got right here. A love reading. I'm sorry, my... It's time for me to get a fill on my lashes. Um... This usually represents a loss of money, poverty. I say this is my ain't shit card. <laughs> this is my ain't shit card, okay? 
the person that you're that this that's causing all this heartache and grief they ain't shit they don't have anything to offer this they don't have anything to offer this this relationship What's going to be the outcome, spirit? Give me the outcome of this relationship with, with Aries. Whatever this is, what's the outcome? Please. And thank you. They're going to come with this little bitty puny ass offer. the outcome yeah I don't think you're gonna take it you ain't accepting that shit You know, high priestess, intuition. You know what you're supposed to be doing here. You know it's time to let this go. It's time to move on. Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to move on, move forward. You got new opportunities ahead of you. Got the star, the star card under the fool. Yeah, you got new opportunities. You got something better coming. Take your time and heal from this. So you got the will of fortune. Luck is on your side. Blessings are on your side. It's time to get out of this. It's time to end this cycle. It's time to end this cycle, Aries. You deserve better. You have better coming. You know you deserve better. Balance is on the way. Let me know if this... uh resonates with you hold on let's see do i want to get oh no oh there it goes let's see Yeah. Let's get some angel messages. Spirit, let's get some angel messages for Aries. They don't have any. Okay, there we go. Honeymoon. Enjoy bliss. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime.
Okay. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Are you already seeing somebody? You already got a little somebody on the side, Aries? Let me see. Clarify this chemistry card for me, please. A gift. The universe is coming with a gift for you. So, the, yeah, this person, you got somebody coming. Clarify this true love. Somebody, this might be somebody you, you already know because you're on whoever this is coming towards you they're thinking of you clarify this somebody coming towards you somebody that you're gonna have a whole lot of chemistry with whoever this is coming towards you I don't think you see it coming I don't think you know that this person feels this way <clears throat> okay that's all I have for you let me know if any of this resonates with you Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to you guys helping me uh, help my channel grow. Um, yes, I also take I do take donations. I will link all my info in the uh, description if you would like to donate to the channel. If, um, if you would like to contact me for a reading, right now my only the I only have this channel I have my TikTok and I have my Instagram I'll link all of that in the description um the only way you can reach me for a personal reading is through my email chaos of the divine feminine I'm sorry chaos yeah chaos of the divine feminine at gmail.com I'll have that also linked in the description um again this is your girl chaos I hope this resonated with you I hope that you liked uh my content and see you really soon i'll have a schedule up so well i'm gonna take my time with this whole schedule thing so just bear with me while i get in the flow of things but yeah all right